The craziest thing is that my cat's bike, say hi, he can't meow. You're used to hearing a cat open their mouths and you hear a meow. It sounds like he's hissing. He's meowing. I asked the vet. They said sometimes it just happens with cats. Sometimes they're taken too early from their parents and they never learn how to meow from their mother. Oh, good one. Spike is obsessed with my husband. He's always sitting on his legs. He's always sitting right on his chest trying to get him to wake up in the middle of the night. He'll literally sit there and like claw him over and over. I think Spike likes my husband more because my husband doesn't manhandle him. I'm always picking him up and squeezing him and hugging him and kissing him. I got Spike when I was 21. I'm 33 now, so he's quite the old boy. He's been my best friend for the last like 12 years almost. He and I bonded right away. The first night that I had him, he was curled up like right on my shoulder the whole night. He was frightened of the new house, but he was comfortable with me. So he literally slept like right next to my face the whole night. I have another cat. Her name's Drew. Spike tolerates her. Drew likes Spike a lot more than Spike likes Drew. They're not best friends. They definitely spend a lot of time chasing each other and wrestling. She'll always be trying to cuddle with him. If he's sleeping on a couch somewhere, she'll go curl up right next to him and usually he'll tolerate it. She loves him. <laughs> he has a little sister. That's the vibe. They really bring so much joy to my life. I've struggled with mental health my whole life. Having my cats that, you know, rely on me and they depend on me. And not only that, but they have this bond with me. They've given me something to wake up every morning for. Every morning I wake up and I'm excited to see them.